welcome everyone to Destin Church of Christ. We're glad you've taken some time to come join us and worship with us today. Um, hopefully everybody had a chance to pick up a copy of the bulletin that's out in the foyer. There's a lot of good announcements um, in here that we'd like to um, make you aware of. First of all, Alabama won. Okay. Auburn lost. That is all. <laughs> Not to rub it in. Okay. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, we, we do have a lot of things that we'd like to make you guys aware of. First of all, um, as you came in, you might have saw, seen the communion cups out in the foyer. Make sure you pick those up and bring those to your seat. Uh, they're in individual serving sizes. Uh, if you don't have one, you, you have an opportunity to go get those now. Also, we do have a nursery available at these double doors to my left if you want to take care of, take advantage of that this morning. Uh, we are not having Sunday school classes this morning, but we are scheduling to resume those um, possibly next week, if not next week, the week after. Uh, we're trying to take care of a few logistical items first, but we are going to get Sunday school classes resumed this month. Um, there are a lot of people in our prayer list that we want to be mindful of. Um, especially Dub and Carol. Dub's canceled his trip to Atlanta. Um, he's got a lot of health issues going on, as you're aware, but let's please keep Dub in our thoughts and prayers, Carol as well. A lot of people on our prayer list, so please hold on to this during the week. Keep this with you so um, each day you know who's on our prayer list and keep them in your prayers. Um, now we'll have our morning scripture and prayer. Let's pray first. Uh, I was given a blue card. Deborah gave me this blue card, uh, which t typically we do at the end, but I, I feel led to, to let, let's do this right now. Uh, if you'll remember, we prayed a lot for Patrice's niece, Tawana Matthews, which she's on the prayer list in the bulletin, but Deborah said that she had a heart transplant Friday, and she's in Nashville, so uh, let's raise her up. Uh, uh, I'd like to do that right now as we, we go to our Father. So pray, pray with me. Father, you are the King of kings, and you are the Lord of lords. Father, we thank you so much for loving us, Father. And Father, as we worship you today, we want to be mindful of the sacrifice Jesus faith gave us, Father, and made for us while we were still sinners. We thank you for the, the grace, your grace and your mercy, Father God, that was given through him. And we thank you for that, Father. We're going to praise you today. and We're going to worship you, Father. And I pray we do it in spirit and truth. Father, I want to lift Tawana to you, Father, today especially, dear God. Dear God, touch her, Father. Heal her, Father. Help her recovery be quick, Father, and painless. Let her show your mighty healing power, Father. Let us see your glory through her. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture today, uh, Gary passed to me, it's going to be from Romans 13, 1 through 7. Let everyone be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against this, the authority is rebelling against God or what God has instituted. And those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For the rulers hold no terror for those who do right but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from fear of the one in authority? Then do what is right, and you will be commended. For the one authority is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid. The rulers do not bear swords for no reason. They are God's servants, ancients, agents of wrath to bring punishment to the wrongdoers. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities not only because of possible punishment, but also as a matter of conscience. 
This is also why you pay taxes for the authority are God's servants who give their full time to governing. Give to everyone what you owe them. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. And if honor, then honor. Thank you, John. Now we have what I like to call one minute of sweet fellowship. This is where we encourage everyone to stand up and greet your neighbors. And I'd also like everyone to turn around and look at the camera and wave to everybody who's watching on Facebook Live. Good morning. <laughs> 